One of the areas of the recent Technicon benchmark was mixed modeling, also known as direct modeling. And all right, I'll admit this one was a bit of an unfair fight. It's not my fault SolidWorks doesn't have a direct modeling add-in or a technology preview. So yeah, it's kind of an unfair comparison, but ask me if I care. Nope. So what's all the hubbub about direct modeling anyway? Well, first off, it's wicked easy to use, especially for part-time users. But as Uncle Ben tells us in Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. You don't want people changing your designs all willy-nilly all the time, and for Pete's sake, stop using crayons to redline or suggest design changes. Use Inventor Fusion. Model your changes. You'll see a big difference. You know, some people prefer to model in a history-free environment, using marking menus and mouse gestures and sweet. That's what I like about Fusion, too. And some prefer a little more control. One feature affects another with structured history behind how the part was modeled. Groovy. Use Inventor. Want to use both of them on the same model? Even the same file? Knock yourself out. It's this integration of both history-based parametric modeling with Inventor and history-free direct modeling with Fusion is what really sets Autodesk's direct modeling strategy apart from the rest. With Autodesk, you don't have to choose between direct or parametric, and you won't lose the parametric history of your part if it's modified using Fusion. In fact, it'll allow you to determine which of those edits you want to keep and which you choose to discard with the Fusion Change Manager that is built right into Autodesk Inventor. No more willy-nilly, no more crayons. We're talking about flexibility and control. You want to talk about easy to use, take a file from almost anyone, throw some feature recognition on that bad boy, and go by editing that feature almost as if it were modeled in Inventor all along. Now here's another use case. you got that boss that's always asking you to tweak your model this way or that. Give him Inventor Fusion. Here you go, boss. I'll even give you my file. Go crazy with it. Make all the changes that you want. And then when you get the file back from him, it'll be overly empowering to reject the changes that won't work in the real world with the Fusion Change Manager. It's the little things that make us happy. Now, when it comes to direct modeling, Inventor Fusion and Autodesk Inventor take you beyond 3D to digital prototyping. 